welcome back to White Creek Acres. Uh, today we're going to take our mushroom area. I got the T-post. I'm going to put them in today. I'm going to take, I finally found a use for these pine logs that have been sitting around. Um, I'm going to use these as my barrier edges to my mushroom beds. Um, today we're going to get the bed set up. I got my spores ordered. Uh, Northern Spore is where I ordered them from, uh, so if you need them, I'll leave a link in the bottom. And they're a self startup company, that's the reason I like them. Uh, five guys went to college together, said, did the corporate world, didn't like it, so they decided to come up with their own company and they made Northern Spore. Uh, it's a pretty cool place, great videos, great explaining videos too. Um, but today we're going to take the mushroom area. I already came through, seeded a bunch of clover. I'm going to come through and I'm going to weed eat this whole entire area. And then I'm going to clean up the level out the ground. And then I'm going to get these pine logs and we're going to square up some beds. Um, then I got a bunch of uh, oak that I can shred up and start filling these beds. Uh, I don't want to fill them all the way. You just uh, you're going to use the lasagna method when we get our spores. Put a layer of mulch down, sprinkle spores, layer of mulch down, sprinkle spores. I got two more bags of the, the morel mushrooms that I'm going to put in here too. Um, I'm going to space them out, give them plenty of room. And we also got the shiitakes that are coming too that we can lean up against our wire that we put up last week. So, come along. I'll keep you in the loop. And I'll show you what we're doing during the day.
Okay. Woo. I got me a little out of breath. All right, let me show you what we got done. We got our rectangle. I got a stump in the center. My ceiling will eat on that stump. So that's the reason. That's an oak stump. So that's the reason I circled it. Whew! Wrestling them logs around. It took a little work on me. All right, I got a couple more I gotta get done. And then we'll start working on filling these with wood chips. And then we'll make our beds inside of each one of these, okay? This would be a good start. I'll put this, put a thin layer down, then I'll add my mycelium. I want to do this in morels. I got two different types, so I think I'll just divide one side into one and one side in the other. Morels come up about the same time, so I can watch this bed really good. So let me grab those fours. Plant those. And then I'll put another layer of mulch down that I still got in here. Uh, accent path to nature is where these guys are from I'll leave their website down below I got yellow and I got burn I'm going to put the yellow on that side and burn on this side and I want to put a line probably in between, that way I know which is which. And I got marking stakes now too, so I can mark, mark, mark each bed.
Okay. I'll show you the rest of this. Ores everywhere. Okay. Can't wait to see if the morels work because a lot of people, including my mother, says that there's no way you can do this. So, but with morels, you really got to worry about the temperature too. Once in a while you'll see some chunks in here. They're too big for the wood chipper. So let them go to waste and bring them up here. All right. <sighs> okay, there you got it. So, this one will be our morel bed. We got two different types, the burn and the yellow. This will be the first layer of mulch. Um, as summer goes on, It'll give it time to my ceiling to start growing through it. Um, eventually, I'd like to have it at least a foot deep on each one of these, but in due time. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to keep shredding 
mulch and keep planting my beds. Um, I'll let you, I'll bring you along on some of them. And this is part of the, our mushroom farm that's going to be a, a part of our farm. Um, with us not having the wood stove now, we got a lot of trees that are dead. This gives it a good thing to use for, and it'll bring money to our homestead. Okay? We'll see you next time on White Creek Acres. Please like and subscribe so you can stay up to date on what I can bring you with the mushroom farming. Um, as I learn with you, uh, northern spores is the ones that's helping me the most on this so far. A uh, bunch of YouTube videos. Uh, go check them out. Okay? We'll see you next time on White Creek Acres.